Hello, my brethren. I hope you're all well. Many moons ago, I was standing in front of a psychiatrist back in my homeland. I was facing the fear of being committed. I remember it clearly like it was yesterday. My fists were clenched. The blood was rushing through my arms to my legs. I remember everyone around me scared as I punched that fucking wall in this poor man's office. I remember him offering me a sedative and I remember promising him that once the sedative wears off, I will find him and I will fucking kill him. Kill him and his family. I remember telling them that if anyone touches me, I would fuck them up. I felt trapped. I felt betrayed. I felt my freedom being taken away from me. I did not know how to feel. I did not know how to experience these emotions that I was having. I did not know how to understand them. That psychiatrist told the men to back away, made me sign a piece of paper saying that I refused medical attention and then I walked out. I went home and then started my journey of self-discovery. I was ashamed, above everything I was ashamed for displaying emotions, for having emotions. I was ashamed that I could experience anything and I spent the next five years trying to suppress those emotions until that emotion overcame me again. And I realized that I was going through it the wrong way. I realized that I was suppressing what I needed to feel. That I was bottling it all up. What I needed was to experience it all. What I needed was to feel. I remember those moments that brought me to these situations like they were yesterday to this day. But I can go back, revisit them, observe them from above and understand them. That was the clarity that this experience have brought me. You see, my brothers, there is something horribly wrong with society. There is something disgusting with this society. We're less than human for this society. Sure, the laws were written for men by men. But they were written by men as tools, as utilities for other tools. There is no point in which male suffrage, male experience has been identified as worthy. For human rights to be introduced, 80 million people had to die in the World War II. 80 million Men and women and children had to die to understand the true disgusting extent in which war can affect men. And I believe if there were no deaths for women and children, no one would have even given a shit. It is fucking disgusting what we have to go through as men. It is unusually cruel what we need to endure every day, living and not experiencing, standing there as the pinnacles of self-control, while we shake every day to our very core. While every attack on our emotional stability is an attack to our own self, to our own experiences, to our own sense of identity. My brothers, fuck them. Fuck these people who are telling you who you have to be. Fuck all those who are telling you who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to feel. Fuck them. Any woman who shames you, fuck her. She has no idea where she's coming from. She has been protected her entire fucking life to the point that she cannot relate to even the 1% of that male experience. I said it yesterday. I will say it again. You're human first. Man second. MGTOW third. Your human feels. Experiences. Wants. Appreciates interaction with others. Appreciates the full range of emotion and enjoys life like everyone else. Your male self has needs, wants to fuck, wants to run free, wants to explore. Your MGTOW self understands the world, experiences the world, and builds the code and creates your own moral compass. But never forget, you're human first, male second, MGTOW third. I will talk about myself a bit more because people tell me that I have no idea what I'm talking about. My father was extremely physically abusive. He beat me senseless. He beat me every fucking day, every waking day. Every moment was met with fear, met with the hope that I might escape getting beaten on that day. I started developing a taste for it, started to expect it, started to enjoy it even. I started looking at this big man, this alpha of my house and challenging him. I was spitting in the face of his authority and kept pushing and pushing his limits. I did not care anymore. After a certain point, I could no longer feel the beating. And as I was growing, as I understood more and more, I knew, I fucking knew I could take him. I knew it. I could smell the fear in him as well. When I was 18, this one day, he came in annoyed after me doing something to one of my siblings who was screaming for dear life. He came in holding this metal rod and proceeded to hitting me with it. I remember snapping, telling him that he was a pathetic little man. A little man, 
and pushed him so hard to the wardrobe behind him that the door cracked in and the mirror inside it shattered. I walked out and disappeared for a couple of days. I remember looking at him in the eyes and it was as if I told him this is the last time. This is the last time that you challenge me. This is the last time I take your shit. This is the last time I'm accepting this shit. You either see me as equal or you will be looking at the fucking ground. I came back. I sat down. We looked at each other and we shook hands. I took the beating for the entire family. I started choosing to take the beating. I remember all those things before that moment. I did not care. After all, I was tough. I was angry at him. I was angry that he could not control himself. I don't know what happened though. After that moment, he calmed down. He started talking to me as an equal. He started confiding in me, telling me things, respecting me, admiring me almost. I started seeing his point of view. This broken man, trapped in a marriage, trapped living life, working three jobs, four at some point in time, in order for us to get ahead in life. I could see that he chose to beat me because I could take it, because he had no other way to take this anger and frustration out. And I still love him to this very day, and I believe he loves me very much. And I understand what he must have gone through, as a child from an equally and worse than abusive father. I remember this, and I said it right there and then, that this cycle of violence ends with me. I remember when I was in that office with all this anger in me, I kept feeling ashamed. How would I be able to control myself in a family situation? How could I not be my father? How do I not beat the living shit out of everyone around me? There is no limit to the expectations that we put on our shoulders. There is no limit to what society expects of us. To be unbreakable, to be utilities, machines that work and work and do not break, machines that take repeated and continuous abuse at no end and then expect it to work. I remember a story that my father told me that if you do not feed your workhorse, if you do not rest it, if you do not love it, it will die on you. It will just eventually refuse to eat and stop working for you because life will simply not be worth living. And I felt like that. A slave to fucking society, a slave to everyone in my family, serving and serving and providing to no end. To my friends, to my family, to my girlfriend. Just a fucking workhorse with no appreciation. As I was not human after all. I could not even feel the sadness involved with my family member dying until a couple of years later. I was just this emotionally stunned fucking version of myself. Don't be like me, brothers. And if you are like me, see through it all. See how you are a human being that is allowed to feel. Experience these emotions. See it inside your home. Experience the fear of death on your own. Experience the fear of loss on your own. Experience the loss even. The sadness about the things that you're not allowed to feel. Feel the good things to an extreme. Overwhelmingly accept those feelings. Learn to be yourselves. Learn to see those why those emotions were put inside of you. There is no shame. Shame was made to control men. Shame is man-made. Shame is imaginary. Shame is what I see men experience while they're dying and refusing to tell me that they're in actual pain because they're ashamed of appearing weak, even in those last moments, as if it fucking matters. Realize this. Nothing matters. Whatever religion you believe in, nothing fucking matters. You will not matter in the end. It is you inside your head perceiving the reality that you were given. You are the only thing that matters. Your experiences are the only thing that fucking matters. You matter. You fucking matter. Not because you're special. No. (laughs) You and I know better. But because everything out there, everything you touch, everything you feel, everything you fucking see, everything you experience is your reality. It is your world. It is you. Form and mend yourself into what you aspire to be and never refuse any emotions, no matter how painful they are. There is no end to male suffering. There is no end to society trying to control our emotional liability. I'm a fucking free man that is able to feel and experience. And (laughs) that is a dangerous man. I am fed up of being one with the crowd. I'm fed up of feeling ashamed. I am free. I am human. I am a man. I am MGTOW. Take care, my brothers.